Hi students, our IGCSE pre-release for the year May-June 2022. Computer science has been released. Now it's time for us to develop solutions by ourselves, by which we will be able to answer any sort of questions which will come for the exam. You know the importance of IGCSE pre-release. It takes almost half percent of paper two exams in computer science. So here we start. In task one of our pre-release, we are supposed to display these details. We are going to uh, create an online ticketing system for Wild Life Park to sell tickets. So in task one, we have to display these details. There are different varieties of tickets uh, which can be chosen by the user. And uh, besides displaying this, we have these many tasks, subtask in task one, displaying the ticket, tickets options and the extra attractions available, first one, then set up your program to display the options, attractions and prices for one day tickets, set up the options, attractions and prices for two day tickets, show the days available for booking, assume that there are tickets available for any valid day. So this is task one. I'm going to show you the solution in Python program and your task is to convert this Python program into pseudocode based on your understanding. Even if you don't know Python program, by understanding the logic, I suggest you to create a pseudocode uh, to get an answer on experience by which you will be able to answer any any questions coming from this task one have a look here here to display the ticket options we have i have created uh, i have uh, developed uh, a function here first one is ticket options i defined function here ticket options and here i'm displaying all the options of the tickets see this line is just to format just for design then ticket type cost for one day and one adult that is twenty dollar one child one adult may bring up to two children which costs two twelve dollar one senior family ticket group of people when it comes to two days one adult will cost thirty one child will cost eighteen one senior 24, family tickets 90, and group of people 22. So we are going to display these complete details in, in one stretch at the beginning. Then after that, we have to uh, input the choice from the user. The, ch the choice are starting from 1 to 10. So we need to validate the choice using while loop. After that, the value entered by the user is being returned into the main program here and at the same time we have some extracts to be shown so I'm keeping another uh, menu or structure here extract traction cost per person so line feeding punking feeding and uh, evening barbecue these all are to be displayed and at the end I ha I'm, I'm taking input from the user which uh, which extras option has been chosen by the user so that is also validated and now we are entering to the main program i am using total amount to calculate the total amount and this is this is needed for a task two now number of tickets uh, for task one we are going to count the number of tickets and choice ticket options now here when i what execute this line then it will it is going back to this function and this all are going to be displayed and user input for choice will be returned back to the main program now see if choice one equal to one then we have to calculate number of adults equal input input uh, how many adults we are asking the user how many adults are there so uh, based on the user's input we are calculating number of tickets of C ch minus one ch means choice here choice minus one that means if choice is one then choice minus one will be zero zero in the array number of tickets so in the index zero 
we are calculating the number of tickles of adults and plus number of tickles so it will be saved there so like that we are doing for children seniors family members group of members up to five when it come to six to ten the same what calculation is repeated but it will be for uh, number two days tickets now at the end we are calculating total person will be sum there it is an inbuilt function sum of number of tickets so sum of the array will be calculated and we are taking the choice as choice x as extras so if choice x equal to 1 then we are calculating the extra amount for line feeding is 2.5 it has been multiplied for each person 2.5 dollar for uh, pinking feeding that is also multiplied to each person and at the end choice equal to 3 if it is this is evening barbecue so that is 5 for each person it has been multiplied and that amount that multiplied amount is added to the total amount okay so this will be uh, helpful for your task too then at the end we are printing how many tickets how many number of tickets has been uh, booked here so uh, we calculate the number of uh, tickets already here then these are the number of tickets displayed so let's run this program so here is your program display this is how the welcome screen will be ticket uh, type cost for one day and this so and so ticket type cost for two days so and so so if I uh, press option one then it is going to ask how many adults because one adult is uh, for adults option one is for adults right so uh, if I enter four see have a look here uh, it is asking for extra attraction so I'm gonna go for uh, two Painting, uh feeding so if I press that then have a look here it is displaying how many uh, tickets I have booked here your booking details are number of tickets are four four adults that's why why because four came here in the front because I have booked for four adults I don't have any children I don't have what any family or any group of people and this scene you know any seniors and the remaining part is for uh, uh, cost for two days so I booked for uh, one day uh, for adults that's why it's shown like this so this is how you need to do so your uh, pseudo code should display uh, at the end in task one should display uh, a statement like this I hope you've understood this video so here you start developing pseudocode for task one thank you